everyone, AJ Rizek here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to add the Cinnamon 2.8 desktop to Ubuntu 15.04 and 15.10. Now, you may ask why you would do this. After all, Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, runs Cinnamon. Well, there are several reasons to do this. First of all, just because I can. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's a good enough reason. Uh, also, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. Now, it's cool that you're running the long-term support release at the same time if you want to take advantage of the advances since 14.04 while still using the Cinnamon desktop, this is the way to do that. This includes newer software, although the Mint team is pretty good about backporting updated software to, uh, to the releases of Linux Mint. Um, some newer computers do have graphic driver issues with Linux Mint. Um, once again, you know the Mint team is usually pretty good about trying to trying to get updates to its releases and that. But I have seen it, and actually I've seen it quite a few times recently in, in people that have asked me for for help with their uh, uh, computer installation issues. So anyway, there's that. Uh, also, 2.8 is the latest release of Cinnamon, at, at least at the time that I'm recording this video. Now, this is a big release, lots of bug fixes, some improved applets, a host of other upgrades. As of right now, if you want Cinnamon 2.8, it is not available on Mint. Um, now, there may be a PPA that I don't know about that will let you get uh, 2.8 on Mint, but at least as far as I know right now there's no way to do it so if you want 2.8 uh, this is the way to do it so anyway let's get started with the installation it, it's pretty easy let's go and open up our terminal and you know for the new newer users out there you're freaking out about opening the terminal and yeah, this really isn't all that bad what we're going to do is we're going to add one repository so let's do this so sudo app repository uh, and then this PPA right here and don't worry I will leave uh, notes down below so that you can you can uh, you don't have to remember all this stuff you can just copy and paste so we're going to ask to put in our password boom there we go now we're going to I'm just copying and pasting from my notes here sudo app get update and that will update our all of our repository information give that time to to do its thing I always have one repository that's slow to update. Alright, so all that is done and then finally the last little item to put in and it's the actual installation. sudo app get install cinnamon, click enter. So zero upgraded, 88 newly installed packages, zero to remove, seven not upgraded. Uh, after this operation, 218 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Do you want to do this? Click Y for yes, and boom. That's basically it for the installation process. So we're going to let that uh, install, and then we will reboot our system and then log back in using the Cinnamon desktop. Now, I will point out, and, it, and it's something that, um, let me go and open up, oh, let me find it here, picture that I downloaded. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is your Ubuntu login screen. Yeah, I realize this is from Ubuntu 12.04, but the login screen is essentially the same. Right next to your login name, you'll have the little Ubuntu logo. If you, when you go to log in, if you click on that little logo, you'll get like a drop down menu that will give you the option between you, uh, um, 
what do your options be? You'll you'll be given cinnamon for an option. Uh, you'll also be giving be given uh, unity for an option. Uh, um, I think there is also a gnome fallback or something like that. Anyway, choose cinnamon desktop so that you can log in with the cinnamon desktop, and uh, you know, boom, you're good to go. You'll be on the cinnamon desktop. If you don't do that, uh, your system is going to default to the Unity desktop, and and uh, you know, you'll log in and say, hey, look nothing's different but anyway uh, our installation is done so we're going to reboot come back and we will be in the cinnamon desktop okay we are back and as you can see things look completely different here we are running cinnamon 2.8 no more unity got a traditional desktop if that's uh, your thing and uh, boom she's ready to go now Here's a step that you may want to do, you know, not, it's not necessary, but if you would like to remove Unity, you can do that. Now, you can keep Unity around so that, uh, you know, if, if you want to be able to switch back and forth between the different desktop environments, you can do that. But if you're not going to use Unity, you know, you might as well get rid of it. So uh, let me show you how to do that. Let's go and open up a terminal. And once again, I will have all this down below in my notes. And we're just going to get rid of Unity and all this other stuff that goes along with it. Click Enter, put in our password. And do we want to continue? Click Yes. Let that do its thing. Now with all that done, we are pretty much done and uh, we are running Cinnamon and no more Unity on here and uh, boom, ready to go. Now I will do a follow-up video to this on how to set up um, uh, Cinnamon panels and, and configure your desktop, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've, I've actually had a few people that uh, are running Cinnamon that ask me questions on how to do this, how to do that, so uh, I'm going to do a follow-up on, uh, since I'm going to configure these panels and, and this desktop anyway, I might as well do a video on it. You know how that is. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I hope to see everyone on the next video. Thanks a lot.